So, Tim, your mother and I were thinking we could finally do that bus tour to the dark side of the moon today. I heard the views are out of this world. Yeah, out of this world boring. Why would I want to spend hours on a bus when I could be conquering the Martian Empire from my room? Tim, you did not come all the way to the moon to stay indoors and play video games. We can play video games at home. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Not if they have monthly shuttles now. Come on, it'll be fun. You can see the far side craters, visit the Apollo 15 landing site, and they even serve moon rock candy on the tour. Dad, I'm 17, not seven. The last thing I want is some touristy bus ride. Tim, we are on a family vacation. Compromise. Do the bus tour with us, and tonight you can have game time. Fine. But if I hear one, are we there yet? On that bus, I am done. Hi, I'm Megan. Hey, Tim. Seriously? You want to spend the day on a bus looking at rocks? There's a new boutique in the mall that is having a low-gravity fashion show today. How could you pass that up? Megan, we didn't fly all the way to the moon to spend our time shopping. The Dark Side Tour is a must-see. How many people can say they've been there? Exactly. Like, a hundred thousand people last year alone. Besides, moon rocks are so last century. This is the fashion capital of the solar system now. Sweetie, you can shop on Earth, Mars, even in the space mall near Jupiter. But how often can you explore the mysteries of the dark side? But my new outfit will look perfect and low G. Tell you what, how about we do the tour today, and tomorrow you can shop till you drop. Plus, we can grab some lunar lava lattes after the tour. Well, I do love those lattes. All right, but if the tour is as boring as I think it'll be, I'm taking over the vacation planning from now on. Deal. Just remember, no returns or exchanges on family memories. Cruising past craters, it starts in you. Low gravity here, just me and you. Silver dust flying as we zoom ahead. Bounce with the rhythm, let's see where we're led. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome aboard the Lunar Express. We are cruising at a comfortable 15 kilometers per hour, heading towards the far side of the moon, often referred to as the dark side, although spoiler alert. It's not really dark all the time, just Earth dark. Wow, it is like nothing I've ever seen before. Told you it was worth it, didn't I? Keep watching. We're coming up on the Sea of Tranquility. Look at those craters. They're huge. I thought they'd just be small. You know, like the ones on Earth. Not quite the same, huh? These are millions of years old. Makes you feel pretty small, doesn't it? And that, Megan, is why we came. The moon has stories etched into its surface, and we were just here to listen. And on your right, folks, you will see the famous Sea of Tranquility, where humans first set foot on the moon in 1969. That is right. This is where Armstrong and Aldrin made history. Give it away, folks, though I doubt the flag is still standing. Can you imagine what it was like just stepping out and being the first human to touch the moon? Incredible, isn't it? And now here we are, just casually touring it. Makes you appreciate how far we've come. I never really thought about it like that. I mean, I knew the history, but seeing it, it's different. It's real. It's amazing what a little perspective can do, huh? And we're just getting started. Wait until we hit the dark side. And for those of you wondering, no, we are not going to find the man in the moon. Just pure, unadulterated lunar beauty. 
but keep your eyes peeled. Who knows what we might discover? This, this is incredible. It's like being in a completely different world. I thought it would be just dark, but it's beautiful in its own way, mysterious. We are now officially on the far side of the moon, folks. No direct communication with Earth here, so it's just us, the stars, and this ancient landscape. Take it all in. This is as close to untouched as it gets. I think we made the right choice bringing him out here. Definitely. These are the moments that matter. Well, I think we've officially won the coolest Parents of the Year award. For today, at least. All right, folks. We have reached one of the highlights of our tour. A chance to step out onto the lunar surface. If you've ever dreamed of walking on the moon, now is your chance. Under your seats, you will find a state-of-the-art lunar suit. Just pull it out, step in, and make sure you seal it up tight. Are you kidding? I'm so in. This is gonna be epic. Finally, something worth posting about. I can't believe we're actually going to walk on the moon. Go for it, champ. Just remember, no jumping too high. We don't want you floating off into space. Don't forget to get some good pictures. Your followers are going to lose their minds. And make sure you bring back a moon rock or two. You know, for souvenirs. Just don't go too far, okay? We will be right here watching. The wheels on the bus go round and round On lunar soil where no sound is found Over the hills of the moon soft ground With jewel and the stars let's spin around This is insane. It's like I'm on a trampoline, but on the moon. I know, right? I feel like I'm floating. This is way better than shopping. Walking on the moon under cosmic light. Light as a feather, feeling so right. Dreaming with the stars where the moon beams crew. Lost in the magic, walking on the moon. Cratered streets where the dreams collide. In the quiet of space, I've got nowhere to hide. Galaxies twirl. Otherworldly swirl Every moment's a treasure Every second a pearl Walking on the moon Under cosmic light Light as a feather Feeling hey, so Hey, right. look at that rock formation over there It's massive We've got to check it out Race you there Last one there has to buy the moon rock candy on the way back Wait a minute Megan, do you see that? What is it? Another rock no, no. Look closer. It's a door. On the moon. No way. An elevator? How do we open it? Only one way to find out, but I'm definitely riding it. Come on. Hear that? We have air. Helmets off. Okay, this is officially weird. How far down are we going? We could be going to the moon's core for all we know. Alien moon base, here we come. What is this? An alien Amazon warehouse? I can't believe this. Aliens have shipping senders? Yeah, I guess even extraterrestrials need two-day shipping. To Zogter, Alpha Centauri. Looks like someone's getting a delivery. Hope they included the gift receipt. You know, just in case. Look at that. The robots are doing all the work. And here I thought aliens would be more advanced than us. Good luck getting through customer service in a galaxy far, far away. Whoa, this one looks important. Do you think it's dangerous? Only one way to find out. I think you just triggered something. Oops, maybe we should. Get out of here? Yeah, let's go before they charge us for tampering with their deliveries. Well, 
That's one moon tour I wasn't expecting. No kidding. I think we just found the universe's best kept secret. Aliens need online shopping too. Okay, let's never tell our parents about this. We'd be so grounded. Deal. And who would believe us, right? Up in the sky, was our shine bright? Come to the moon hotel for an hour of this one night. With a few ways, Luna, and a fun song. Hey, um, I had fun today. Like, real fun. Yeah, me too. I didn't think I'd say that about a moon trip with my parents, but it was pretty awesome. So, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, I was thinking. Maybe we could, you know, hang out again? Maybe explore the dark side a bit more. Without the parents this time? That sounds like a plan. Maybe we'll find another secret door, or at least some moon rock candy. Deal. See you tomorrow? Definitely. Moon Hotel